of what, 21 feet in the air, I believe it is uh, tonight. It is a festival of lights, ladies and gentlemen, so we're going to uh, uh, try and uh, uh, do what I do every day, which is uh, shine the light of truth, is what I do on the radio every day. And we're going to try and spread some light in uh, the darkness that is uh, currently in our planet. Uh, before uh, I go up there, uh, thank you all for coming, first of all. We really appreciate you all showing up. Thank you very much for doing that. Uh, we have had colder nights, <laughs> so this is good. Um, and uh, at the end of the lighting, uh, there will be uh, some stuff descending from above for the kids. Uh, some will be on parachutes and some will not be on parachutes and I'm not going to be trying to hit anybody. So, <laughs> so they have to watch out. Um, now I'm uh, uh, about to end. I'm making a habit of this because uh, I was in a, an event last night and uh, uh, one of the things I got to do was to introduce the, our next speaker last night. And I get to do that again. Like, you just bringing me with you everywhere you go now. Uh, he is indeed, as the rabbi pointed out, uh, the congressman for this district. Uh, he is. Uh, he is also uh, something that doesn't happen very often. Uh, he is still serving in uh, uniform in our, in our nation, and uh, his priority is our veteran community, which doesn't get enough priority, frankly. And uh, he is uh, he's doing some of that. He's going to tell you about it uh, before I uh, head on up there. Uh, our, Thanks to uh, the people that uh, that put me in the bucket. Where is he? There he is. Hey, man. He looks after me and makes sure I'm uh, nice and safe and sound. So thank you very much for doing that as well. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, please uh, uh, welcome uh, right now uh, his far more important title, as I tell him whenever he comes on the radio with me, Lieutenant Colonel Zach Nunn. Thank you, sir. Thank you, Rabbi. I really, first of all, I want to say... Thank you to each of you who came out tonight for our fourth night of Hanukkah. Uh, Rabbi, I think uh, you taught me this well, but I'm going to see if I can say it again. Chal uh, Shemay and Happy Hanukkah. Look, one of the great things about our community here in Iowa is that whether you're Jew or Gentile, whether you're somebody who shops at McAfee's or just lives at McAfee's, which we all do, this is an opportunity for us to gather. The fourth night of Hanukkah talks about the change from darkness into light. And as Rabbi highlighted, the creation with the sun and the moon. Today the world faces a very challenging position. Out of the last month of darkness, we have seen a rise in anti-Semitism that has reached levels that we have not seen for most of us in our lifetime. The darkness in this time of lighting a menorah, in this time of Hanukkah, also speaks to what we can do right here in Iowa. I am so touched by the number of people across our community who have recognized, who have embraced, and who have spirited the idea, not just of Judaism, but of our Jewish friends in this community. And while I am a Roman Catholic, and while I am someone who has served in the military with the Israeli Defense Force, protecting our strongest ally in the area, on the night of Hanukkah, we all remember the true spirit of what it means to be a community who looks together out of the darkness and sees light that is gifted to us from God above. Now in the last months, we have worked hard. I have been on the front line of condemning Hamas's terrorist attack on the people of Israel. Collectively, we here in Iowa have rallied around our brothers and sisters in the Jewish community. And as a country, we have made it clear that terrorism anywhere in the world, whether in the southern part of Israel or in the tragic 70 plus attacks against US forces in the Middle East today, will not stand. Those who fund terrorism will be stopped. And those who commit terrorist act attacks against innocent civilians will be held to account. So my friends, it is a privilege to get to serve you in Congress, and I am honored and humbled to serve folks of all faiths, of all political persuasions, but most importantly, to get to be part of this community that recognizes that together, what you see here tonight is a community that comes together in a time where real terror faces us every single day, both abroad and right here at home. And what better to celebrate what is good in the world, what is indeed the sun and the moon, than to be here with 
our loved ones, our families, our kids. And we get to see Simon have to go up in the bucket and light this thing. So with that, guys, thank you so much for being out here. Rabbi, thanks for having us. Let's light the middle one, and then, Simon, we're going to play the blessings, and then you'll light the fourth. Light, light the middle one first, and then that one. Here. Yeah, first light the middle one, and then you'll light the set, the fourth one, and you put it in. But before you... Okay, you did it. It's not your first time. You were going to go to the middle one, and then we're going to play the, the blessings. And then you light the fourth one and the third one. Uh, you can take it out if it's easier, yeah? so easy to bring light into this world <laughs> but we'll get there that's it yeah, you're good now you can like the next one we're good okay no no, no. The, the one no the, the, the fourth one the fourth one yeah there you go we take it from the top, four, three, two, one. We're always coming back to one. The one and only one, our one Father in heaven. Yeah, there you go, okay. Okay, no. And we go back to one. Take your time now. We're good, we're fine, you're fine. Okay. Okay, we're gonna sing. What second? Stay up there? Okay. Okay, so the children around the bucket right here please come forward but don't run into the middle okay stand around everybody stand around all the children come close and when you've got something <laughs> then please go and oh I guess <laughs> there 